Hello, you beautiful people. Welcome back to another Tower Fancy video. Today, we're going to be talking about all the fuss that's going around our beautiful, lovely, fierce Frost Queen Frigg. Did she really have a bug or was it actually a buff? And why I think whatever happened is a huge win for F2P and low spenders that got Frigg. If you enjoyed the video, guys, remember to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I appreciate it. And let's get into it. Honestly, I really am Papega. I didn't even know there was a bug with Frigg until somebody pointed it out and commented on one of my videos. And see, guys, I really do read all the comments, just giving you that FYI out there. But anyways, I checked out DS Gaming's video, Dark Skin Gaming, link to his channel and video in the description. And in this video, he was showing that he was getting an increase of frost attack after initiating Frigg's weapon skill. At my team, you'll notice I have, um, I have Frigg, Subasa, Meryl, so I have Ice Resonance, right? Well, with Ice Resonance, that means that my frost attack is 5,700. Now, the thing about this is, Whenever I use my one, my frost attack goes up by 800. So it's 6,500 now. And just to prove this, if I walk out, 5,700, I walk in, 6,500. So her one is giving her an attack boost. This is weird because nowhere in her kit did it say you get an extra 15% frost attack or some type of buff while being in her frost domain. I know because I made a guide on Frigg, link in the description by the way, and when looking at her kit, nowhere did it say you get a boost in damage. Although in hindsight, I should have found it when I was testing, but I just wasn't looking for it. And maybe you're thinking, oh, Hydrosam. Well, this is exactly how they have it in the Chinese version. Maybe we were just meant to have it this whole time. And I hear what you're saying, but the fact was, and this is what made people think it was a bug. And that is, if you did not have Ascension 3 or above, you would not be getting this extra boost in your frost attack while being inside her frost domain. This is what led people to call this a bug and question if, in fact, they will address the issue by either removing it, which keeps in line with the changes to global made after Frigg Frost Resonance was added to her, or, on the other hand, keep that extra frost attack and just address it and brush it under the rug like some sort of translation error. Well, in fact, last night, when I was streaming on my twitch.tv forward slash hydrosam, follow me if you're interested in live content. Well, last night, when I was about to get off the stream, there was a message on the screen that said, the server will be shut down in 20 minutes. Make proper gameplay adjustments. And so I was like, well, that's weird. I guess I am getting off, guys. I'll see you later. And so they did an emergency maintenance. It started around 1 a.m. CST and lasted to about 4 a.m. CST. And when I woke up the next morning for work, the following changes were made. Bug fixes, the guaranteed number and actual number display issue for EN and TH in Frig and Frig Matrix special order has been fixed. Fix the star grid logo of the Path of the 9M event. Fix the level and skill description missing and translation issue for the Balmung weapon. That's the key thing right there. And then another one that fixed the issue of multiple matrix effects can be activated when switching to multi. Well, that's not important. The important thing is the frig they ended up saying it was a translation issue and now they did the change in game as well they changed the descriptions in the game as well if you check frick's kit right now they did in fact do those changes now if we take a look at the changes and compare china server frig with the global frig china server frig doesn't have frost resonance but global does chinese frig before all this happened instead of their frost resonance chinese frig had 15 percent extra frost damage built into her skill but Global was not supposed to. And now, along with the Frost Resonance damage bonus, Global Frig gets that extra 15% Frost damage that was supposed to be only for China. Global Frig's Ascension 3 went from 20% to 25%. And our A6, which was really mid at 12% initially for being an A6, you know, something that you max out, that you take a lot of money or a lot of pulls to do, now it is actually better because they're giving us the 25% from the China server version. But the only thing that did not change, guys, was her dodge attack skill percentage, which is still a pretty significant nerf to her damage. And now it makes even more sense why they kind of nerfed that percentage because having frost resonance and 15% frost attack would have made Frigg too good if they let her keep her original attack percentages. But now that we do have that extra 15%, this is a huge win for F2P players. First of all, we got 600 dark crystals for free. And who doesn't love pools? Second, 
The fact that they moved a 15% to her Ascension 0, nothing, no types of Ascensions, base character. This basically helps people with Frig at A0, Ascension 0, do more DPS and give her more value for future Frost teams like when Saki Fuha finally drops on Global. And honestly, as a side note, I was already trying to work on a video to see if Frig's Awakening is enough to justify pulling her. Like if you don't build a Frost team, is it enough for an F2P player to just pull her just to have that utility? And if you still want that discussion video, let me know in the comments. But for now, now that we got this change to her Ascension 0, this is why people have been calling it a quote unquote buff. And honestly, I really do not know if it really is a buff or that it was just part of the plan all along. But the question that keeps circling in my head is, did they mess up and just kind of say, oh, hey, uh, you know, those adjustments that we made to her ascensions and weapon skill? Yeah, just kidding. You're going to have the same numbers as China server, but global, you're going to have frost resonance and China server will not. And I would be dead set on that statement, but the only thing that keeps me from sticking to that theory is the fact that they did not revert her dodge attack percentage to the original one from the China server. You all know that that attack is the main way of Frig being an on-field DPS. And because it is still a way lower percentage than the China server means that her DPS is still overall hindered. My last question slash thought that I want to leave you with is what does this mean for future characters such as Claudia and Cobalt B who have been rumored and basically confirmed to have the physical and the fire resonance. Will there not be any nerfs in percentages in any of their ascensions when they get the added resonance? Or can we expect all of them to have some sort of nerf in their attack skill percentages? Like for example, Claudia, she's a DPS in China server, but when she's coming to global, she's gonna get also the physical resonance. So it's gonna boost up her attack. So are they gonna need to adjust any of her skill percentages or are we just going to have the same thing as China server? Or was Frigg the only exception because she was the only one of the three that had an inherent elemental damage boost that was part of her skill? I, I really don't know. That's why I'm asking you guys. What do you guys think? Maybe when they finally, you know, release Claudia and Cobalt B in global, they're going to be dead set with these percentages and there's not going to be any types of bugs or mistranslations. And they're going to be like, here it is. You get what you get. No bugs this time. We're not going to change anything and you're going to be good with this character because this is the way it is. Or what's going to happen to future characters like Saki Fuha and Lyra and all these other characters that already had the resonance. How are they going to adjust them when they come over to global? Are they going to give them more extra percentage on their skills? Are they going to change up their ascension? Are they going to keep it the same and maybe add a couple more stuff? Or are they going to fulfill a different role on the team once they come to global? Or will they just end up power creeping the other characters that have a resonance? But instead of 15%, they're going to get the actual 20% and maybe that's how they do power creep. Whatever the answer is there's only one thing we know for sure we really cannot know any changes to a character until they're actually released and we have it right there in front of us like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video i love y'all very much and i'll see you in the next video